What is going on, everyone? Welcome to the video. Uh, my name is Brando Linick. I appreciate you for coming to this conversation. And the whole reason why you're going to want to pay attention is I'm going to share with you kind of my experience uh, over the last three and a half years, having started a lot of different types of businesses. Some of them worked, some of them absolutely failed. And the ones that worked, you know, there's a lot of things you got to be aware of, a lot of pitfalls that can happen. I've seen a lot of people who don't understand what I'm going to share with you when it comes to mapping out a business plan, looking at where you are and where you want to be. And of course, the example I will be using in this video is a shoe store business. So you're going to want to pay close attention. And when it comes to this business model, like I said, having started some businesses, having started and gotten involved and helped friends out with retail businesses, dealing with it, all right, shoes, clothes, Retail in general, it can be crazy, all right? It can be a headache just to be completely transparent with you. And the reason I say that is not to put the business model down. I absolutely love it. I have friends who are successful in it and some friends who absolutely, you know, dropped out of it. But they, most of them who, you know, dropped out of it, they joined and tried to get involved in selling shoes, you know, starting a shoe selling business, a shoe retail business because they thought it was easy. All right, they thought it was simple and they knew they could make money. However, the overhead associated with it, having your own store, okay, having, uh, you know, sneakers, okay, not just that you're offering on the shelf, but in inventory. So you got to have a lot of investment uh, that's put into the business to actually get it going with a store and with overhead, uh, like inventory, like equipment, like supplies, like employees, all these things you got to keep into account. And then the operating costs for that on a monthly basis. So it's a lot of work and with that overhead, you know, it increases your workload because you got to manage and maintain things. And when it comes to this from a business perspective, business to business here, if you're looking at this because you want to build a business to be your own boss, if you're looking at this because you want to create leverage and flexibility to afford what you want to do, maybe you have some passions that you want to build a business for, I would actually advise you before you consider starting a shoe store business, if you hear me out here for a minute, all right, my experience with this goes back over the last year, when I transitioned from a traditional brick and mortar business dealing with all this overhead, which I'll tell you, it was crazy, it was nuts, and uh, I transitioned from this to an internet business without having to deal with any of that overhead, without having to deal with uh, creating my own products and services, dealing with inventory, dealing with shipping and handling, uh, bugging friends and family, doing home meetings, or any of that crazy stuff, all right? And I won't tell you that the internet's the only way to go when it comes to building a business to help you get the results that you want. That'd be a bunch of BS. But if you wanna build a business in a way that creates leverage and true flexibility and time freedom, what happened to me going back a year ago when I made that switch was really because I came across a person who is building a business on the internet without doing any of those things, all right? Just building right out of their laptop without shipping and handling or inventory or staff equipment, supplies, and because they weren't dealing with that, making a ludicrous amount of money, more money every month than I was making a whole year, high multiple six, almost seven figure income, traveling around the world, building their business from the, from the internet, all right, from their laptop, I started to model and copy what they're doing and I was able to create a full-time income business from that working part-time. And of course, these are not average, not typical <laughs> results. I decided not to be average or typical, but I am assuming because you're making it you know, past three minutes in this video uh, that you're not average, you're not typical. And if you're looking for something, if you're looking to start a business because you wanna be your own boss, if you're looking for it uh, because you wanna take control of your income, the best, most highly profitable and flexible way that you could do that is learning the skills required to building a business on the internet. And if this makes sense to you and you're following me here, I can share with you what was shown to me and shared with me going back just over you know a year ago. And if you're coachable, trainable, willing to learn some things, and you wanna learn how to build a business, have a life at the same time on the internet, connect with me on my site, check it out. It's 123marketingtips.com. I'll put a link in the description down there. And regardless of the road you take at the end of this video, I look forward to seeing your success story. I look forward to uh, seeing you on the beaches of the world. You now know uh, pretty much an understanding, a brief understanding of mapping out a business plan, uh, looking at the overhead that's associated with the shoe store business. And like I said, before you consider that approach, if you're really just looking to be your own boss and create time, freedom, and leverage out of that, running your own business, the internet is the best model and tool you could tap into to do that. So appreciate your time, and I'll see you on the next one.